Yo, 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 what is up, all oh, you cool cobras? How you doing today? Mm. Mm. Yeah, buddy. That's the good stuff, right? There, yeah, lucky gems. And this Rick and Morty flask kicks some serious ass. I may be hanging out with Topher here in a bit. So I'm not drinking a whole shit ton of this just yet. I mean, I get 20 bucks for doing it, so. Yeah. Well, thank you, Miss Brittany Owen, for that compliment. So I made a burger with some of that Mad Dog 357 hot sauce. I made a double burger and I put just a couple of drops on each side of just one patty, like one little drop, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, I got some stanky heat on it. I don't think the Keeper cast is a troll show. I think it just comes off that way because of all the crazy shit that goes on. I mean, Topher's been a good friend of me on social media. He hasn't done me any wrong, so, you know. And for me, it's a chance to meet new and interesting people and socialize with you. Different kinds of peeps. Hmm. Ooh, that drawing for that Mega Millions is tonight. Yeah. Buy me a ticket. That'd be sick to win the lottery like three days before, three, three to four days before my birthday. Shit, Shane. <laughs> That'd be some sick shit, man. 48 bell clock tower, like 47 bells on a carillon. It's a full of four octaves of bells on a carillon. Plus a nice sinister sounding bell that rings on a hemp rope from one side to the other. Oh yeah, every bell in my clock tower would have a pot leaf and on one side and a cobra on grid on the other side. And there'd be an inscription on the swinging bell beneath the pot leaf. It would say, music is a gift to the universe. Whoa. My third eye just showed me a vision of my bell rope and me walking up to it and pulling it. Yeah. Buying some land outside of town for my little oasis. Get like 20 acres of land. Buy a bunch of willows and pine trees and maple trees, fully grown. And replant them all over and around the house area. Shoo, she you.
And the way you shape it. How's my day going so far? Can't complain. Just in, um, another day in paradise, I suppose. Just chilling like a sexy rock star villain. It's only six. The first colony. The number you have dialed is not an assigned number. Uh, not a whole lot. Just wondering what time y'all will be doing the show tonight. I think I'm, yeah, I'm out in time. All right, now it says it's 610. All right, sounds good. All right, awesomeness. There's eight thirty my time. It's plenty of time to chill for a minute. Make it easy twenty bucks. Help some people out with their exposure on their show and stuff, you know. Helps him get exposure for his show. I'm on there with other people, you know. So it looks like it is six eleven. So I guess at about six thirty. I have about two hours until um Kebercast, which means I got plenty of time to chill out on Facebook Live and bullshit with y'all for a minute. <clears throat> And uh, bullshit with y'all for a minute. Mm. Mm hmm. That's just straight whiskey in there. That good sipping this right there. Mm. 
think it's had been talking here, isn't it? Well then. A little bit of stage lighting wouldn't hurt. Oh look, it's, is it really raining outside? Oh, spring rain, magnificent. Oh, not a whole lot of Anthony just kicking back on Facebook Live. Sipping on some of that good whiskey. Smoking on some of that fine pop tobacco. Fucking hell, it's raining outside. I gotta open this. Oh, listen to that, Facebook. I hear it. I love the smell of spring rain. It's magnificent. You can't hear it. That sucks. I'm definitely having an all right day. I really I can't complain too much.
I do declare that we're gonna say eight o'clock glass. This be the glass I speak of. We ain't drinking out of the Rick and Morty flask is always cool, but to increase your chances of winning the lottery is to play. I take it. I'll just send to none, but that's the fun of playing. Getting that humongous jackpot worth of money, that's the fun of playing. Making so much freaking money. Hmm. You know, I don't have anything to mix it with at the moment, so it's just straight Tennessee honey. Just a wee bit. I mean, I'll be on. I'll keep a keeper cast at 8 30, and it's 6 20, so about. Two and a half or two hours and ten minutes now. Yeah. And I have just a smidgen of the good stuff. Pour a flask full earlier and um sit here and sip on this good golden nectar. Indeed, you don't, but Tennessee honey mixes good with a lot of things, I've noticed. It's one of those drinks you can drink straight without mixing it, but I love a good mixed drink. Mm. I think if I win the fucking lottery, I could get my driver's license and kick ass through the baker. <laughs> get like a 1950s Studebaker baker commander with, and then drop a 428 Shelby Cobra dual exhausted engine underneath the hood. That car would be have like 425 horses of raw American muscle just argh, growling down the street. That'd be a sweet little car, man. Some people will hot rod a sturdy breaker up a bit. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty of room for that size engine. He's got a fucking modify the chassis a bit to hold that much torque. Otherwise, you'll rip the suspension apart, peel them over down the street. But yes, Facebook, I do enjoy a magnificent spring rain that is... Mm, that smells so good. Who doesn't love the smell of a good rain? A warm, humid rain. It's not ice cold, but it's a warm spring rain. Yes. So 
So I know this, the uh, Keeper cast, I'm a lot more entertaining on Keeper cast when I, you know, I've been doing some thing. Yeah. <laughs> Tennessee honey it doesn't really need a drink combo to go with it, but it's good either way. And Jack Daniels is definitely no joke. That's some good whiskey. Mm. And my third eye, show me shit, I like it. Third eye, show me a vision of me unlocking the front door to my dream house and just walking in and seeing the layout. All I'd have to do is go to a contractor here in town, buy the land, call a mirror clock, I have them custom make the clock tower that I want to go with it. And I said, get a lifetime insurance policy with a mirror clock so that my shit's insured. Oh, yeah. I guess we. People would hear the clock tower in town. They'd be like, the car a couple miles outside of town. They're just like, fuck is that? A word on the street that, uh, yeah, the guy that King Cobra feller, he got his, uh, his dream house. And I was just playing in his clock tower. Oh, how about that? Clock Tower had many, it could have many nicknames. The Cobra's Clock, the Casper Carillion, and there's so many different nicknames for it, but it's. Literally, maybe it's, it could be a goddamn tourist fucking attraction, man. Especially if you're, if you're driving into town, if you're driving into town on that side of the state. And you have the past by a patch of trees. It's not too heavily forested, but enough that, you know, it's like it has a little bit of scenery, you know. I don't want a super thick forest around my dream house, no. Like a light, a light forest of trees around my house would be a plenty, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's just something to add scenery to it and, you know. That you'd still see the clock tower poking out and everything. Yes. And you already know, as soon as I got my clock tower and everything built, I'll be giving y'all a tour of that shit on YouTube, giving America clock a shout out. But like, you want to, you want shit done like this? You, you go to these people right here. They'll fucking hook you up. Talking some contractors ear off for a good minute, but whew. like yeah, you know, check out Saunders in his uh, mansion. That's pretty sweet. The first video of me standing outside of it, I'm just like, 
I'm gonna be a total smart ass about it. I'm gonna be like, okay, so um, I found this courthouse looking thing. I don't know if it's a courthouse, a church, or a house, or what. But it's got this huge clock tower on it. And camera pans over to it. Of course, if the house itself is black and the roof is painted a rich hunter green and the clock faces are white with black numerals. I mean, if they had my color scheme on it, it'd be pretty fucking obvious whose house it was. Uh -huh. The solar powered lead and cement in between the frame to make it apocalypse proof. That gas submarine glass for the windows. Eco friendly plumbing. Stone house with the steel roof. And look like an old school Victorian mansion, but to be built with some modern conveniences like solar power. Which should make it super fucking cheap on electricity. So you get this old school looking Victorian clock tower just sitting there, you know. How much electricity on that thing cost you? And like, how the fuck could you afford that? And, oh, silly power, man, come on now. <laughs> and you put a bunch of solar panels on either side of the master roof here and here. Even the roof on top with the clock tower for like four little LED green strobers to let airplanes fly by, don't land here. Of course, they see the four clock faces lighting up green at night. And they see those four green clock faces lighting up at night. They're not going to run into it. Because they're going to see them like, oh, yeah, no, staying away from that. If, if your tower structure is tall enough, it requires some sort of strober to let on flying planes know not to land there. But it might be the tallest fucking tower in, a, in town. If it's gonna hold like 48 fucking bells, yeah, it's gonna have to be extensively. Yeah. It might have to be like, I don't know, exact dimensions, but. Picturing the fucking videos of me playing the Kirli and, and doing all kinds of songs and shit. The album will be available as soon as I can make it available. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's kinky as fuck, Brittany Owen. <laughs> Brittany Owen's like, you can make a sex dungeon for your house too. No, I wouldn't do that. That's a bit excessive. Oof. 
Like, who needs sex if I had that dope-ass mansion? And that's what I'm saying. Like, sex would be meaningless to me. Like, I'd be like, dude, <laughs> right in front of you. Look at that. You can't trust a whole lot of people in a dating scene when you have a lot of money. Because they'll just take advantage of you. Which is something I'm used to people doing. But it's whatever. leave my dream house unless I was going to see family, friends, the liquor store, the grocery store. That's it. Not, I prefer to drink at home these days. It's it's less crowded, and I can smoke my tobacco and you know converse with social media and what have you. So it's you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Joseph says rock star parties in the Cobra Mansion. <laughs> right. I would host a get together with a couple of friends, yes, but I wouldn't have a shit ton of people over at my dream house. But a little social gathering wouldn't hurt. But for my closest friends and maybe a couple people they know. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like literally twenty seven in three days. Where does the time go? Now, I already have plenty of attractive qualities for the opposite sex, but the thing of it is, if I don't work on my temper and my self-confidence a little bit, and not to be so harsh on myself, if I could do those three things, it might actually help just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know what I'm saying, Facebook, like, it's not gonna fucking matter how many attractive qualities I may or may not have. There are certain things that a lot of people are gonna see and it's just, you know. Learning to save your anger for when it really counts. That's what I'm saying. Tubes and Facebooks, yeah.
Who doesn't love the smell of a little bit of rain? That smells magnificent. Some crazy shite. Earlier, I was like, okay, if I want to win the lottery, then rain like crazy. And then I proceeded to do just that, stopped for a second, and then lasted for a good minute. I would offer magic classes at my dream house. I would teach the occult if I could. Study up on it myself. It's a point where I know a lot of good shit. I certainly hope so, Brittany Owen. Fingers crossed, right? <laughs> There'd be more shooting videos because I'd have my own couple of acres. I'd get a little spot set up with steel targets and shit. That'd be sick as fuck. Could I do a spell to improve my chances? Um, none that I can think of at the moment. So yeah, I'd be very peculiar about who I let crash at my house and shit, you know, it's just the nature of it, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Like if people were true fans and they were on the up and up and they weren't some weird psycho and they weren't going to trash the place, you know, then, yeah, okay.
Well, I've spent years with a nasty temper, so it's not an easy habit to break. Hell yeah, Brittany, that'd be most definitely what's up. You would smoke a bunch of weed in my clock tower, that'd be sick. Brittany Owens, like, you gotta let me stay, I can bring weed in and smoke it out. Hell yeah, definitely. Just showing up in the belfry between the Caroline room at the bottom and clock faces at the top. Like, you don't even know Facebook. It looks like an ordinary double burger, except I cooked just a small amount of that 357 Mad Dog Revenge hot sauce into it. And uh, this is something you can't just chug in one sitting. You gotta, like, nibble on it, because this fucker's mean. Mean. Quite, quite honestly, this shit is quite spicy. And the combination of seasoning, the Tony's and the other seasoning that I used with it, dank as shit. But, um,. Cooking sauce into the patty is just <laughs> Oh man.
I can saw a fucking red in my face, God. Oh. Meat lovers, stuff crust, extra cheese with anchovies. That's the best way we can do it. Yeah, so the question, there's the answer. Yeah. The hot sauce got some cake to it. Alrighty, Joseph, we'll have a good day at work, bro. Oh, that's spicy. I may end up taking like two or three Pepsi-Bismol tablets as a precaution. Because, um, oh man, you never know. Ah. So, milk and banana definitely helps cool off the mouth after eating spicy food.
Oh, I think it's some milk after eating some spicy ass food. No, please don't. No more of the, um, uh, yeah, no. I appreciate the offer, Amy, but, uh, no, thank you. No more ordering unless I'm paying for it because, like, I'm just saying, like, trolls have been really stupid with that. And don't get me wrong, it's nice when people do that and they pay for it, okay? But trolls have been ordering and then not paying for it and making these companies waste time just to get a quick laugh at me and it's pathetic so I'd much rather you know what I'm saying Ugh. Well, thanks, Amy. Enjoy your um, your order there, yeah. Where would I live if I couldn't live in the States? I don't know. Let's see. Where would I live if I couldn't live in the States? Um, English countryside, maybe. But I do appreciate the offer, though. Amy, I do. It's just, you know how it is with these, these trolls. They see someone do something nice for me, and they want to make fun of me for it. <laughs> Not to mention they're extremely full from eating burger, so yeah. I had my fill of beef. I want to take two of these Pepto Bismol tablets just for safe measure. Mm, there's a bell tower off in the distance going off. You doggies. Don't 
Don't know if y'all heard that on camera, but I definitely heard it. Mm, not yet. Although I should do that. I have not made a video for YouTube showing off my new uh, And that's a good point. I have not made a video showing off mm, my new uh, Fender that I uh, customized up a bit. Four's the limit. Give me thunder. Nice and loud. Almighty oh, thunder. Oh, never mind the clouds are that thunderous. Maybe they are, maybe they are. We'll see. But I do love conjuring from their stores. Of course, any video that I have already made on the guitar on Facebook is automatically going to be on YouTube anyways, but no, I have not made a personal video for my channel yet. Can you plug the amp in through USB so we don't get the microphone distortion? Uh, no, I took a pee right quick. What? Well, <laughs> I've been drinking that much, but I mean, I just drank a shit ton of milk earlier because. Yeah.
But perhaps a quick video for the YouTubes so they can see the guitar. Uh, a Fender Starcaster turned into a Fender Spellcaster. All right, all right, all right. Hold on a second. Hold the phone, Sylvester system on. 706. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra. Back at you with another brand new YouTube video. Chilling out on Facebook Live, and I figured I'd stop to film a quick video. Is it a cooking video? Oh, no, 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 no. I did some cooking earlier, and I'm plenty full on some delicious beef. But... I'm here to show off a new guitar that I have customized. I was given a Fender Starcaster and I painted the silver green and gray at the back of the neck. Of course, you've seen that guitar, yes. The one that I did a video of taking it to the store. You've seen that on YouTube. Now, do you want to see the finished product? Because the finished product is bad the fuck ass. Rockstar Music Store took some soldering iron and they were able to solder the wang bar into place. And, um, well, I might just have to play a couple licks here on, on the tubes, on the YouTubes. Sipping on some Tennessee honey. And well, this is what it looks like with the Winnie bar installed into it. Can't really push it down when it's right here. So if I move the Winnie bar into here, then it's playable. I can. So. Here. Now I got the wiring figured out, the wiring bar installed. Let's see what this uh, base can really do. Thank <laughs> you. 
like the string isn't really it's an I guess sure one no maybe there's nothing wrong with the guitar maybe or maybe the next two chords of the string Maybe it's, I suck. Maybe it's because I suck at guitar. That too, but uh, that's why we practice, right? <laughs> guitar a uh, sort of swampy bluesy sort of sound turn on the clean man <laughs> Years, you know what I'm saying? You too. Mm -hmm. distortion. Thank you. 
I don't know how to play Iron Man, I can play it properly. Facebook showing off the new guitar, so I'm like, why not make one for YouTube? Probably not going to be as good as the one on Facebook, I might add, but uh, that's all right. Points for at least trying, right? But yeah, there's the finished product, YouTube, looks good. Um, I noticed though that, like, I pressed one on the strings all down here, and there's at least a little bit of room towards the neck. But, like, right here, right here, like, this high string is really. Oh, it fucking came loose. That's why it was doing that. What the shit? No, I didn't change anything. That's still really fucking close to the neck. Yeah. I had a vision for it. Man, that made it happen. Bloody good. Bloody good, you too. Bloody good. This is really 7.30. Most excellent. I have just an hour yet to go before the fun really begins.
Anyways, you two got a fresh bowl of tobacco and some gnarly fingers, calloused a bit. Yeah. So I think the neck might need adjusting. That could be why the string's doing that. Well, I don't know for sure. But now it's playable at least. And then skull one of is a nice touch. Anyways, King Cobra should have fast back at you with another video YouTube. Thank you for watching. Let me shred some mean ass guitar. Don't want to say I sucked at guitar. I was being sarcastic, by the way. Now I shall go to YouTube. Shall go to YouTube. I the other Choose that video. And as soon as it uploads to fucking YouTube, then I can uh, call it shredding around and or playing the spellcaster or whatever the fuck, you know. Something along those goddamn lines. I'm glad someone in chat mentioned that because <coughs> I almost forgot I hadn't posted a video to my actual YouTube of me just playing that guitar. See, I know I can play the national anthem. I'm not even tripping out about it. I don't like messing up on it, but if I keep messing up on it repeatedly, I'm just not going to play it. I mean, there's no sense in further aggravating myself to the point of where I want to smash the guitar. It's, that's not going to do any good. Shredding on the spellcaster. It's taking a sweet ass time to get to the uploading process, but it's slowly but surely making its way there.
Name of the video. Shredding the spell caster. No, not two words, one word. Shredding the spell caster. Monetization on Give y'all something to watch when it hits YouTube. No, you don't have to pay to watch it live. I'm not going to smash that guitar. Gotta take a bloody leak. Thank <laughs> you. 